What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ethan, and today we're gonna to be discussing my current Helix patch. So if you've seen our recent video where we compared a Line 6 Helix, Spider 5, Kemper Profiler, and a Vox AC30, then you know that we weren't quite sold on the Helix yet. Well, after editing it and listening to all the audio from the amps, I had to go out and buy myself a Helix. After about a month of using it, I think I've dialed in a tone and a patch that I'm really happy with and that works really well for my worship sets. So I use my Helix in the 10 stomp mode, and what that does is allows me to utilize each stomp as an individual pedal on a normal pedal board. This way works for me, but it might not work for everyone. Um, I've tried some snapshots, but I just haven't really been a fan, so I've gone back to the 10 stomp mode. So my patch is set up to be played with single coils. I'm playing a Fender American Telecaster. Um, I believe it's an 04 model. And I am uh, running through a, a Dumble patch. And what that is is the Line 6 Litigator. Um, I think this came with one of their newer updates. Um, I really like it. It's a nice clean tone um, and it's kind of similar to a Dumble. So really my effects are what I'm going to be going through today. Because you can apply these to any amp sound that you have. I have the same effects set up for um, three different amps, the Dumble that you're gonna hear today, an AC30 tone, and a Fender Princeton. So I'll provide those patches for you to download below. So I'll start with showing you my clean tone. That's my middle pickup selector. Um, it's mixed with the neck pickup and the bridge pickup, both single coils. So basically how I have this built is I have three drives. Um, my first stage is really just a boost. Um, it's the kinky boost, which I think according to the picture um, on the HX edit, the picture looks like an exotic boost. I don't know if that's exotic SP or EP, I forget which one is which. Um, but so this is basically copying that. So basically I just use it to push the amp a little bit more, uh, have it break up a little easier. So that's what this sounds like. So what I have next is the is the TMA overdrive, and I think that's just a copy of the Timmy. So stacked with the previous boost, it sounds like this. Next, I have a Minotaur Overdrive, which that is a copy of the Klon. So stacked with my previous two drives, it sounds like this. So you'll notice that there's a big um, mid boost in that. I usually don't play chords with that. I usually use it for lead lines. And what that does is it allows, the, uh, it allows my guitar to just kind of cut through the mix a little bit. So here, I'll play a lead line with that. So I'm gonna take that back down to just my first stage. What I use for my always on reverb is the plateau and I have the pitch shift set off. Um, I just have the sense set at zero on both and the mix set all the way down to zero. Um, and I feel like it just gives me a nice modulated reverb. I love this reverb because I feel like it's close to the, uh, the Hall of Fame tone print, uh, I believe it's called Big Room with a View. Um, it's just a nice modulated reverb like this. And so that's what I've named it on this preset. Welcome to change the name, name it whatever you like. And here's the lead line with that. So when I am playing rhythm guitar, I like to turn that off and turn on a spring reverb, and that's the 63 spring. Um, that sounds a little bit like this. So 
So that gives it just a little bit of body so it's not just so dry. So I'm gonna turn my reverbs off. And let's take a look at the delays. I have, I have two delays set up. One's a chord note delay and one's a dotted eighth. Um, the chord note delay is, I believe both of them are the transistor tape delay. Um, and I have them stacked so that the eighth note delay just comes after the quarter note. And I have it set up like this. And so this is what that delay sounds like. So I'll turn back on my always on reverb. It sounds like this. And then just my quarter note delay. Um, same delay, I have the mix turned up a little bit more, but it sounds like this. And so you can stack those as well. Um, just gives a little bit more. Uh, just gives a little bit more accent on the on the quarter note, and that sounds like this. So moving on, um, I like to keep an always on chorus. So this is a '70s chorus, and it's turned down kind of real low in the mix, so that it's just uh, it just helps to thicken up that tone. So that sounds like this. And I'll add my delay back in with that. The next thing I like to do is have a reverb set up for my kind of atmosphere parts. Um, just kind of helps thicken up the sound. Um, feels like there's kind of a synth behind the guitar part. It's real popular in today's praise and worship music. So my atmospheric reverb preset is a particle verb mixed with a plateau. On, and on this one I have the, the pitch shift set to uh, plus 24 and plus 12. Um, and the pitch mix is down at 40% and the mix for the whole plateau reverb is 30%. Um, the particle verb is set at a 40% dwell um, and a 50% mix, and you'll see brackets on this, and we'll talk about that later. Um, so this gives a nice atmospheric sound, and so that sounds like this by itself. So I like to run that on top of my always on reverb. That's the big room preset, um, which is just another plateau with the pitch shift off. And I'll add in the delay. And so the last thing that I want to talk about is this controller setup. This is not an individual pedal, but what this does is controls the mix for my particle verb. Um, and that takes the mix from 50% to 100%. So what that does is cut the dry signal completely and allows just the reverb to come through. So it's nice for filling times of prayer or for uh, just adding on top of really soft parts. So let's take a listen to that. So it's got a really nice slow attack. Um, I feel like it's just just helps to add the atmosphere. It's kind of like a having a synth player without having one. Um, you can do it over chords as well.
Just kind of pick through the chords a little bit. So that's my current setup for my Helix. Um, like I said, I have that set up over three different amps, so I can just kind of choose which one I'm feeling that day or according to which guitar. I'll provide the download links for these three patches in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below, and leave us a comment and let us know how you run your Helix on Sundays.